Welcome to this tech snip where I'll show you how to install the Snare agent for Windows. Snare will send all Windows events to a central syslog server. We are using the open source version. There is an enterprise version available with support. Snare will enable you to consolidate logging across your estate on multiple platforms. We are also going to use the remote web control to do a basic configuration. So let's start by installing the MSI. So we're prompted, do you want Snare to take over control of your event log configuration? So we're going to answer yes to this, but please review the policies that are applied to your servers around audit configuration before you select yes. In account details, we are going to use a system account. We're then going to enable web access. And we're also going to enable the option local access only. Local access means that we'll only be able to configure this snare agent on the actual server itself. So now that's installed, we'll click next. We won't view the readme and we'll click finish. So to access the snare agent, we'll open up the following web page where we're prompted for the username and password. By default, the username for the snare agent is snare. So now you can see that we're into the snare status page. So let's work through the menu options. So first, if we click on latest events, you'll see that snares actually started to gather the local logs. Next, we're gonna choose network configuration. In here, we're going to make some changes. So we're going to point to our syslog server. And we'll select port 514, which is the default port for syslog. We'll check the boxes for audit configuration and file audit configuration. And we'll export the snare log data to our file. As we're using syslog, we'll check the box for syslog header for syslog facility. We'll choose syslog and then for priority, dynamic. And that's the values being updated. So now your events will be getting written to your syslog server. So in the remote control configuration, we're quite happy with the settings that we've got at the moment. In objective configuration, we can actually set up filtering. We can delete it, modify it, and create new rules. We're gonna leave this standard. In the status page, we can see that the agent is currently active. The last option, apply the latest audit configuration, is used when you change something in the objective configuration. And that is how you install the Snare agent for Windows. Thank you for watching this snip.